What's going on guys, Gamer King Tario here, and uh, I got some more gameplay from Gravity Rush for the PlayStation Vita. Now this gameplay footage features some combat, as well as my first ever race that I did, and you guys can see me struggle with uh, going through the checkpoints of the first race. And uh, I had mentioned in my previous video that this game kind of had a, a Grand Theft Auto mission structure feel to it, and uh, right as soon as you know I had mentioned that and played it, and then I started playing a little more and we got to the first race, which is you know a prominent feature in Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Assassin's Creed might be a more bipedal way of describing it, the way you can you know you can go through and chase the feathers and, and go through the, the races they have and the different things. If you've ever played Assassin's Creed, it's kind of got that open world feel to it like you go and you do a mission and the mission is the mission until the mission's over and then you go off and do another thing now you can see in the combat footage that each of the enemies has a little dot a little fluorescent dot that you're supposed to hit and that's kind of like the eye uh, it mentions that earlier in the game and your job your object is most of the enemies you're going to face are going to have little eyes and some of them are going to have armor some of them are going to you know keep the eye away from you some of them charge at you and you have to avoid you swipe the screen to evade uh, which is actually kind of awkward uh, I have not gotten used to, you know, when something's coming at me, swiping the screen and, and getting getting uh, out of the way. So that, that's something I definitely have to work on. And uh, you'll see a lot of the different stuff. In this video, you also see me doing um, a throwing uh, attack. So you can pick up objects, you can pick up park benches or barrels or boxes, and you can then aim them and throw them at enemies and this will knock out armor or you know it'll directly hit the fluorescent eye uh, and you can kill enemies that way without having to get so close and risk getting damage if you're not that good with the evade button now the racing on the other hand is all about control it's all about being able to navigate cat through a three-dimensional area the, this is not kind of like running checkpoint to checkpoint to checkpoint to checkpoint in in a race you know in a, in a two-dimensional type plane this is you know you're gonna have a checkpoint on top of a building then you're gonna have a checkpoint on a manhole cover, then you're gonna have a checkpoint across the bridge. It's you know it's gonna be a whole three-dimensional area that you're gonna have to go. So you have to go up, down, left, right, forward, backwards. The game early, at least in this race, does help you out as it points an arrow beside the check mark to where the next check mark mark is gonna be. So you can go get to the checkpoint. And then you'll know exactly where you need to kind of orient your body to go towards the next checkpoint. Now, these are not completion events. They are timed events. So you have to complete all of the checkpoints in a certain amount of time. And then if you do it in a certain amount of time, you'll get a gold medal. A different amount of time, you'll get a silver medal. And then the longer time, you'll get a bronze medal or you won't be able to get a medal at all. Now, in this race, I end up in bronze being my first race. But as you progress, if you get bronze, you get a certain amount of gems as a reward. If you get silver, you get more gems, gold. Uh, more gems so this is a good way as it'll help you level up so you can pick up the gems and there then you can spend those points in the ability to fall faster or you can spend the points in the ability to float longer and that might help you get to the next level you might be able to fall that much quicker and therefore you might be able to get from bronze to silver and therefore get more gems and the process will repeat itself so I like the races. Not only do they add a bit of casual fun and a, a nice little distraction to the main quest, but they're also great for the Vita and the pick up and play ability. I'm big up on pick up and play. If you only got a couple minutes to play, you know, you're at a doctor's office or whatever, you're able to just sit down and you can do some races. Try to beat your score in previous races. Try to get that bronze up to a silver, that silver up to a gold, and uh, gain some more gems. So it's nice pick up and play. You don't always have to play the missions and just go through the missions. It's, not, it's a nice little distraction. That's why they put it in all these open world games and so far so good with Gravity Rush. Well, everyone, that's it for another Gravity Rush video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, showed off the combat and uh, some of the side quests in the game. And uh, that's it for the night, guys. Uh, have a great night, and uh, I'll have more videos up tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Uh, and that's it. Take